In this section, you will learn the Tableau architecture to understand how Tableau internally works and what are the main components of it. You will learn some important concepts and we will start with the data source connection types, live and extract. And now we come to the most important decision or questions that we're gonna make inside data source. Do you want to store an extra copy of your data inside Tableau? So here we have two designs for the data source. Either you're gonna say no, we don't need a copy inside Tableau, the data should stay where it is in the source systems. Then what can happen each time your visualizations needs data, it's gonna send queries directly to the external database. And then the database is gonna send the results back to your visualizations, so the data comes always fresh from the sources directly to your dashboards. This type of the connections we call it a live connection. Or you're gonna say yes, let's have a copy of our data inside Tableau. So a snapshot or subset of the data gonna be copied from the external database to Tableau. This copy we call it an extract. And now each time our visualizations needs data, it's gonna send queries this time to the extract instead of the external database. And then the extract gonna return the results back to your visualizations. And since the extract is inside Tableau, and very close to the visualizations, we will get a great response time and very fast performance. This type of connection we call it an extract connection. All right, so now the question is, which connection type should I use in my data sources? The typical answer for this question is, well, it depends. Because here we have a trade-off between performance and data freshness. For example, if for you the performance is way more important than the data freshness, then you have to go with the extract. Since the data gonna be stored inside Tableau, in memory using the column store technique, you will get just great performance. But if you say, you know what, the data freshness for me is more important than the performance, then you have to go with the live connections in your data sources because you will always get the fresh data directly from the sources in your dashboards. All right, so that was a quick overview of the two data type connections in Tableau, live and extract. And next we will learn the different types of files that you can generate in Tableau. 